ASL Premier League Group Stage Round of 32. Alrighty. So, I guess I'll go with my clan mate to play it fair there. In the upper right hand corner, from Clan Triple T, it's going to be our Red Protoss player. And his opponent, across the map, in pink, you will know her. It's our Air third player. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say how this game's going to go, but I am really looking forward to Air Penguin's going to most definitely go for a Forge Pass expand here. Bexy. And Bexy looks like... That's uh, going to be a scout. Probably think about that last game on Habitation Station. Mm. Now, one of the good things about Habitation for a Zerg, certainly, is that the Overlord Scout can do the main and the top of the ramp, whilst the drone can stay on the natural and deny any attempted Nexus first play which is kind of the go-to, because it's such a short distance. Comparatively, the Protoss can scout quite quickly, but uh, but does have to make that journey and doesn't have, of course, the Overlord. Yep. I'm waiting. Yep, there forge. goes down the forge. She got to see the exact timing of that. Yeah. Mm, well, we'll see what she comes up to. I'm thinking about making another a bet with the crowd, because I have one with you. Uh, oh, really? are you kidding me? Look what Bexy's making a proxy. I can see it. Proxy hatch. Proxy hatch. But um, I was thinking about making a bet with the crowd. I bet that the outcome, one of these players will sweep the other player. Doesn't matter who. I'm just saying it will not go 2-1. It'll go 2-0, no matter what. So anybody that wants to take that bet for 10 caster dollars, say the word peanut butter. <laughs> and the first person to write in peanut butter takes that bet that they want a 2-1 ended series and I'm saying it's going to go 2-0 one way or the other if Air Penguin is paying attention right now he should know that by the timing of this third base he should know something isn't right mm -hmm. because either the Zerg hasn't taken the base and it is possible to tell that the base has been taken based on the drone count but that is that is crazy high level stuff um, and it's possible it's it it could just be a gold but we haven't seen the scout there he's looking around he's ch he is actually checking he's looking on the gold bases for a proxy hatch but it's he is unaware <laughs> it's so close it's about to, it's about to join there it is he can see it now he oh! knows it is there Oh, is she making the queen? So yep. late. Got to. Oh man! All the probes are off. Uh, oh, this is where you get some lings going. He's like, shit. <laughs> this isn't good. This is a really bad position to be in for uh, for Air Penguin. He does not want a hatchery in his base. No one wants a hatchery in their base. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's not. It's not nice. The only people who want hatcheries in bases are Zergs. Oh my goodness! And this is gonna go un unblocked. Yeah, spine crawler coming down now. The creep tumor will follow up, or should follow up, I should say, uh, uh, and inject actually because she's planning realistically on being aggressive. Drop. No, the queen didn't inject because she's going roaches. She was she'd been mining that gas the whole game. I thought she was going to go speed actually, but uh, the roach warren did follow it up, and that's that's not a good place to be. Cannons aren't very good on roaches. I think that her decision is pretty strong. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I do too. And That's guess my what? Respect. I, I I did get a. You know the guy wasn't a kangaroo. The guy that you uh, you beat. Uh yeah, I I won the bet. He just made him. a bet with me that the series would go two one, and I say two zero. You say two zero two Bexy. I say two zero regardless. Okay. And Fair he enough. took two one for ten caster dollars. Well, I, okay. I think this game for sure is going to Bexy. This wouldn't work on a smaller map 
And I'm not saying that in a bad way at all, because this is a, this is a smart play by Bexy. She's identified a weakness in her opponent. She's seen it. She's gone for it. She's put it on the hatch, and she is looking in an incredibly strong position. But one of the reasons why this is quite as good as it is is because of the map that she's on. Habitation is, a, as I said, a very short rush distance map, so you can get that drone out there, and you know where your opponent's going, and you can just whack it down if you see the, the, the timing and win a lot of the time, as Bexy's gonna, almost certainly going to do. The creeps up. Mothership Call can't be dealt with by the... No, not the Queen. Yeah, uh, the, the Queen. The Queen's take. there. This is looking so, so good for Bexy at this point. And the only thing that we can really see possibly out of Air Penguin, I think, is going to be uh, Gateway Unit counter pressure. But this is, what, nine roaches? Nine roaches pushing at the cannons. There's a Mothership Call with not enough energy. The pylon's going to go down, so there'll be no more units. Oh, my goodness. Why yeah, but a lot of running? roaches died. And he only was able to cancel out one cannon there. Yeah. Air Penguin's got to get up that ramp before more show up. <laughs> I don't think even with this push, there's too many roaches for the units to do anything, and the Stalker's being picked off now. The Queen can focus down the Mothership Core because it's got superior range. Air Penguin can't go up his ramp. Bexy, for now, can't go down it, but it's just a matter of time. Yeah, and she's got the rest of the map. Exactly. She can take her actual uh, natural at this point, or even the gold. I think she's taking the gold. world's her playground right now. Yes, so she's just play so nicely. true. Ah, can't quite get the creep down there. <laughs> Usually, I go for right. You know where that pylon is, right above it, on the low ground, the left one. Yeah, that would have been the spot. I think that would have been just out of range. Yeah, just putting down, uh, just getting the range units on there to snipe out the pylon. It's all damage, uh, but it hasn't been happening so far. Bexy's still looking incredibly dominant. There's a Stargate coming down for Air Penguin, but unless he gets in, he just gets super lucky with his oracles, then he's going to really struggle to get back in. But you can't rule out the fact that his macro is very potent at this point. He's actually expanding to his own third base, and Bexy, despite her strong position, isn't she's only just now started producing more drones so she's been on 14 workers for basically this entire game yeah that gives air penguin a small window yeah it's just uh, a question of whether he's able to do anything with it that's what i'm wondering i'm sitting here th playing this out of my head what i would do if with i was bexy is go ahead and build a drone over at that and take his original main yeah that's that would, money on yeah, your basically. his side of the map that you're stealing and you already have position. Yeah, I, I actually totally agree. I hadn't thought of that, but that's a great idea. Um, I, wish, I wish I had thought of that. And what, one of the other thing I'm worried about for Bexy right now is she's got Lair Tech coming, but no Queen. Oracle is just going to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the natural of Air Penguin. The roaches moved down the ramp, but there was a sentry out. It died in the attack, rip. but a force field goes oh. down, and all of those roaches are being roasted or lasered away whilst oh, they couldn't escape. Boy. No, no, That's... no, don't, don't do that. Run away, run away. Be a smart mothership fork. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't think it's been the smartest uh, mothership fork we've ever seen. Not getting out. Mothership fork does go down. But the, uh, the, oh, okay. The, Econ of Air Penguin is actually starting to show a little bit. He's up to a fantastic work account now, sitting at his uh, going, expanding towards his new natural. I'm considering the natural seven, his main yeah, now. Yeah, 17 more workers. Yeah, very, very scary. Bexy can get back into it with the sick, the drones she's Oh, you see that? She's hot, she's hotkeyed her hatchery in the main base up to uh, up to her main hatchery hotkey. And the drones just walked through the process space. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I just saw that too. But uh, that was yeah. only one. What? Only one died out of that. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. able to get down there. That's it actually succeeded in drawing the attention of the sentry and the stalker, so that one of the void rays was focused down by uh, by the queens. That's that's pretty major. There really needs to be some more gateways built by Air Penguin, and he's reading my mind. He's putting them down in his third. Okay. I'm really surprised Baxi didn't go for any lings. He doesn't want me to ping the map, but here. And if he had left some lings just sitting over here, this, this whole second base thing could have been prevented. And a full contain could have been created. You know, a one base all in force. And, yeah. But by Baxi not putting any lings down there, this is what happened. This is actually right, instead. A, yeah. No go. It, it's just, uh, yeah. He'll, uh, you know, now he's got two bases again, and they're actually even in bases. And yes, he's uh, had work. 
he has, uh, sorry, she, Bexy, has chosen instead to go to Lair and start building that Hydralisk den. And that, I mean, that is a pretty strong decision. The current units being shown by Air Penguin are Air. And you were mm -hmm. right in your prediction, although I don't know if, I don't know if you would have been, if she hadn't proxy hatched him, but Air's pretty good against Zerg, so it's more than possible. This Oracle actually revealing itself to the Queens, and oh, uh, was... Bexy... She'll be paying attention. She knows that's legit, and the spore is coming down in the natural. And there's already one in the middle. Oh, and the queens are in trouble. Here it is. Uh, yeah, Trans the queens are going to get picked Trans up Transfuse spams. He's Not actually anymore. focusing down the uh, highest energy queen first, which is really, really smart. Uh, Air Penguin going to move, kill off these queens, kill off this hatchery, finally. And he may be able to take the most easily defended third base in the history of StarCraft. <laughs> Yep, and that oracle took forever to actually do anything over here. Mmm. Uh, flying around in the natural, but the spores are protecting it really well. Even so, Air Penguin got a saturated natural. Bexy doesn't have a saturated natural. Uh, and Air Penguin's got a nicely defended main third base. <laughs> so at this point... I... Ah... This is incredibly difficult to actually talk about because it's one of those unconventional games that you don't often see where... Where it the... doesn't end at that point? <laughs> or when you think no, it it's, it's just, no, it's just unconventional. It's a very unconventional style of play from both players because one is reacting to a cheese and the other is, of course, doing a cheese. So you, at the, the timings of it being finished up are super important. The timing of the cheese hitting, super important. The reactions after the cheese, super important. And for example, the Bexy's decision to not make queens in her main until kind of now-ish is going to have cut into her economy massively. She's had a lot of money for a while. If she'd been producing back at home, we could have seen a lot more drones being produced there. But instead, everything was focused at the front, and that mm -hmm. might have given Air Penguin the window he needed. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. He doesn't have a Twilight... Oh, he does have a Twilight Council down. Okay. Man, he's actually got all tech paths going now, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Stargate, Colossus, and Blink. Yeah. Oh, he's got plus... He's got plus and one air well. units. It's just like... Everything. Yeah, he, a lot uh, of Hydralisks as well. I think he needs to scout. Have we actually seen anything out of Air Penguin? Seen the lair? No, no idea about the lair, and therefore no idea about the lair tech of choice. I just, I mean, I know that he hasn't been able to get over there in a little bit, other than that Oracle doing a little bit of scouting and seeing the third base. But, you know, he's been so busy getting his base back. That yeah. He's probably just happy to have that. There's actually, the creep's not going to recede as much as he thinks. He doesn't realize there's three tumors on the low ground. I think he's going to figure that out here in a second. There we go. Got the observer. They are going to get picked off uh, as you say it. And the main is is free for the taking, even if the fourth has already been taken as a third. Yeah, right? That's yeah. the easiest to secure fourth. <laughs> Just. Bexy's really stuck at home in a weird way. I want to see her push out and try and do some damage with these hydralisks because hydras are great on air, they're great on gateway. And if she pushed out. At this point, I think the army of Air Penguin is just too substantial. But if mm -hmm. we'd seen a slightly faster transition towards something like that, or as you said earlier, that Ling run by pressure, then uh, she could have suppressed her opponent enough to keep him down enough that these Hydras could have attacked and perhaps even killed uh, Air Penguin at this time. As it is, with the macro lead and the Colossus now out for Air Penguin, Bexy is in a bit of a tough spot, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not well, she's doing what she can to get in there here. She's taking a fourth and a fifth at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, when in doubt, double, actually, no, not when in doubt, but when behind, when you think you're behind, double expand. Yep. And then... You can't win any other way, double expand. Well, Bexy just revealed the uh, Hydras that have been hiding in the dark. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now the thing is, zero, zero upgrades versus... Well, we're about to have 2 oh. Yeah. Colossi are a pretty good unit. Yeah, does he have any out yet? They, oh, he's got one. There's okay, one out, not but really. it's not with you. There we go. He's just grabbed it. Uh, I have a really horrible feeling that that is stuck because he grabbed it and he's moving the rest of his army. I think that's on his main army hockey and stuck behind that pylon. Yep. It looks a bit like him. I don't know. Maybe we'll see it move in a minute, but I'm watching it and I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, uh, would we... Is it moving? No, nothing. 
This is oh god, another one. Oh god, could they both really be stuck? I Wait. guess they are both now. stuck. Oh yeah, no stuck. way. There we go. Depowering oh, both the Robo but, and no. the uh, the Robo and the Stargate to do that, but it's better to do that and keep your Colossi. Uh, now getting that fourth, he's resisting the urge to expand to the main for as long as possible. Yeah, he's kind of saving that. As a, yeah. If you if so, get contained, expand back where I should. <laughs> that's a strong fullback position. Yeah, that's an unusual one, but that one's going to last the longest. Mm hmm. Uh, Air Penguin is on those great upgrades, as you said. He's now only at a one, one uh, plus one advantage, but with Colossi, they get plus two on each beam for that. So that is against Hydras, not negating that much damage with just a single, a uh, single Thir defense upgrade. Yeah, thirty-eight damage per shot, and then the plus splash. Uh, I'd yep. love to see Revelation here. It's coming down. Is it coming down? No. Oh! A really, really nice surround. Actually, oh no! Betty not focusing the Colossi, and oh, they are doing work. Yeah. Popping those oh, force fields. This is such a strong fight. He's actually just move commanding past, and I'm not even sure it's going to matter. The Colossi are <laughs> roasting away at those Hydralisks. No oh, Guardian Shield, my. no recall, no nothing. Oh my goodness! Air Penguin for the win. Up one game to zero for Clan Triple T. It's gonna be our red pro to toss player. Air Penguin. Are you going to introduce the other one? I guess. Yeah, 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 I was I'm getting there. Sorry, I didn't quite clock the timing. Uh, and his opponent, <laughs> uh, asking for morphine, in the bottom left, in pink, and only one game away from potential elimination, Salzburg player. Or is there a player that wants a tranquilizer or morphine? She's uh, <laughs> she's quite unwell apparently, uh, so she's playing this tournament. She's been from, sick all week. Yeah, bit of a disadvantage, uh, unfortunately for her. She uh, not really on top form, and it scares me to think that this isn't her top form because she's done a pretty good job every game. Like it's looked like she's going to do well and then unfortunately something's happened that's resulted in perhaps her not winning out uh, and this could even be why she's gone for slightly rushier strategies to kind of get it over with mm -hmm. well what do you think you're going to see this game I mean if it was going to be a rush strategy I didn't feel that natural come I thought it was going to be a one base roach timing one base ling bane no not really bane just ling but right for the hatch so back to business as usual I think this is how she likes to play. This feels play, to me like play her the more standard openers and not yeah. the uh, radical ones. Yeah, I can see that. The proxy hatch was effective, but she didn't close it out by following it up with the appropriate macro, perhaps. I don't know mm -hmm. to what extent she could have afforded that, is the question. She was producing a lot of roaches because she felt like she could go for the kill, and it didn't quite work out that way. Um, and then behind it, the macro was kind of a little bit lacking, which allowed Air Penguin to swing his way back into things in the mid to late game. But in this game, she's not going for anything crazy. She's just... She's just playing it out. Yeah, and I'm watching to see how it over. goes. We'll see how quick she goes for a roach war and does a giant dump of drones over to the natural. And that'll yeah. give us a better indication of where she's going. Roach Air timing. Penguin, no go. He's, he's playing like he did against uh, Panda that one game. He went right after Cybercorn and Nexus. That yeah. game on Frost. Very so That's the, uh, the Naniwa slow. Gateway expand. And it's, ah. it works, both Zerg and Terran. It theoretically works against Protoss, but it is a fairly serious risk. And uh, it's just a really nice build. It's basically the most cost-effective way of opening into an expansion, because you don't make any units unless you need to, except the Mothership Core after that. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right. It's a tasty, tasty play. Where are those injects? Well, there they go. 
Lovely. Yeah, I'm looking. Army supply four four. Uh, the uh, Ooh, real workers real. was even there for a second. I'm like, this is just going very standardly up together. Oh, a star, a stargate as part of his wall off. Oh no, you see that? It's brave, but it works. Uh, you put that stargate down in the wall. Although I personally think that the other side is slightly preferable, which seems like a minor change. But if the overlord is sat on this little uh, raised ground just above, it can see that stargate perfectly. Whereas if it was placed where that gateway is, it's much harder for an overlord to scout it. It's these mm -hmm. tiny little tweaks uh, that can swing games sometimes. Interesting. Well, yeah. he's got a full wall off. The overlord's about to scout that. I'm waiting for her pink click on the gateway. And that's sure going to get her attention. She does see it, right? Yeah, she sees it. Yeah, well, yeah. she's going to see it, literally. There you go. So, spore crawlers? <laughs> Almost <laughs> certainly. Well, Air Penguin will go for either... Actually, there's, there's, you could go for any of the units. Mm -hmm. I'd like to I see would Phoenix. go Phoenix. I yeah. would go Phoenix. <laughs> that's, that's the unit I favor in this matchup, but that's Void Rays and Oracles are equally viable. Um, it's going to be a they're just race, used right? a bit differently. Yeah, nothing wrong with Void Race. Yeah, you take your third and fourth guess if you're going to do that. And there goes number three. Mm hmm. Saturation of Protoss keeping up with the Zerg or slightly ahead. That's nice, but the. Uh, what is the reason for that? I was expecting slightly more units out of Bexy, but perhaps Usually it's the, the Zerg has the higher one. Yeah, they should do. Um, but Bexy's actually spending a lot of money on economy right now. She's droning like a beast and we're seeing a huge huge she's just making workers making workers she can see that it's a void ray coming out of the stargate because the stargate tells you what it's making and so she feels really safe to drone heavily to go up towards the uh, the lair at a nice reasonable timing it's get the one one ready for hydras yeah. yeah i'm not sure i like the wall off at the front that's against Hellions, that's nice. And against Zerg units, that can be quite nice. Against Protoss, they have Colossi and they can just sit outside lasering away at your lovely upgrades. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that one Void Ray hasn't poked away that. Uh, he's going to have a second one out here in a second. He's not poking away at this one Overlord. Does he see it? Oh, okay, he can't see it. I'll give him that. No. It's always worth looking around to check for that exact reason, though. Because if you can catch your opponent off guard, you might get a nice supply block out of it, and you can never underestimate how effective that can be. <laughs> mm -hmm. He just got to see the exact timing of when the uh, third base went up. Yeah. Now, so he's kind of kind of gauging where he's at. I'd like to see how he reacts here. He knows the timing of the third. Now, does he start pushing out more units offensively or go for a third of his own? Yeah, he's going to go for a third of his own. A third of his own is fine, but it is a bit of a risk. With this later third, the Zerg has logically been spending their money in some other location, and usually that's either units or tech. So what really needs to be going on in Air Penguin's mind is he needs to be going, where's the money been spent? I'd like to see some scouting of some kind. Just anything out of Air Penguin that might allow him to confirm what's going on in that main and natural base to get some kind of idea what he needs to be building to counter what Bexy's going to throw at him. That being, from the look of things, Roach Hydra. Yeah, and I think it's going to be very heavy on the Hydra side. Hydras are good against Stalkers. Hydras are excellent against Void Rays. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be hard Hydras. Yeah, getting that Grooved Spines upgrade first. Convent I, I say conventionally. What I mean is, I heard Apollo say that. Bexy... Getting Groove Spine first means that her Hydra is going to be more useful for defense rather than aggression. Mm -hmm. And because off creep, you want augments because otherwise your Hydras are moving very slowly. So they're not that good at putting on an attack. Now, Bex's creep spread is quite nice. So she can get a reasonable way across the map using that. But without the muscular augments, the Hydras are going to struggle to get away from any attack they make, making them a very all in unit. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with you. I like all these. Do you notice Air Penguin's pylon placements? He is setting himself up very well to be able to drop anywhere on this map at any given time. It is really, really nice, and it's uh, a, a very smart idea to do that as a Protoss player for that exact reason. As soon as your opponent moves out, which, as we know, Bexy is doing, you counterattack, and they go, "Oh God, I need, I need to be somewhere else," and then they stop attacking you until and, and go home. It means you can defend with much fewer units than you need by attacking in the right place. Mm-hmm. Yep. Exactly. 
I've seen that happen so many times where like one medevac drop would did yeah. so much more damage just because you know it's it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And Absolutely. on the note of defending with uh, many too few units, that front overcharge comes down, driving away the Hydra Roach force for the moment. But it's being backed up. I still don't think it can push and win this. The armies are roughly equal size, but their avoider isn't a photon overcharge with the Protoss force. That's, yeah, uh, and that's a, a distinct risk. So there is uh, in the natural. Oh god, please don't get trapped again. He thinks that she thinks photon overcharge just got reutilized, which it actually didn't. <laughs> no. Uh, so she's gonna wait. This reminds yeah. me of that carbide video I just watched with the stalkers. <laughs> you know, I know the one it. you mean. <laughs> Yeah, they're just sitting there playing chess, waiting for <laughs> photon overcharge. Oh, it's God. all you can do, unless you've got like four immortals. In which case, you just go, "What nexus?" Mm -hmm. yeah, behind she's backing up, this, though. She's been yeah. very passive. She can't really attack. She doesn't have the units at the moment to really do a lot. Her work account is good, but it's not as. She's not as droned up as I would like a Zerg to be at this point in the game. I'd like to see a little bit more saturation on the the uh, the fourth, maybe a l maybe even a fifth coming down just for the lava. So even with Bexy moving around the map, she's not dumping her minerals into bases and lava that will enable her to l last in this game. She's currently just dealing with the now rather than the later, and that's whilst important because as we see, the army of Air Penguin is moving out. If she, I mean she's not spending the money anyway, so she might as well. Yeah, well, here we go. Major engagement. Yeah. Very serious. Great oh, that Colossus down as well. is so important here. Oh, it my is. God. She did a great job, or he did a great job cutting that army up. Oh, man, she's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, I don't like this Remax either. Massive numbers of Lings coming into support for Bexy, and she sh really should have built... Well, I mean, Corruptors are okay, but Corruptors are going to kill off maybe the Void Rays, maybe the Colossi, but there's so many Stalkers that I don't see them doing very much except dying and losing, and there's not <laughs> a lot to deal with the ground. This, this oh, is why Stalker boy. Colossus is such a strong composition, and this is why Air Penguin is looking so good right now. The Corruptors are coming out on the field, but engaging before they can all up, clump all up. Them. Lings don't do anything against Colossi. That's the reason why I don't like that. It's just... Colossi is so, so good. Little bit out of position there. That does allow the Corruptors a bit of a window. And actually, that could be what's needed. The Hydras have done good damage and the Colossi have all fallen down. Are the Stalkers going to get out? Yeah, the Stalkers going to try and blink out. Okay. That's amazing. That yeah, really is amazing. He did get the third. He took out a good chunk of that army. Um, yeah. So I don't see him being in a huge amount of trouble here. He's got money in the bank. He can go ahead and do a full warp in right now. She needs to be pumping... Bexy needs to be pumping units crazy hard at this point. Because actually, no blinking backs from uh, Air Penguin. With Ling Hydra, is a high DPS army, and more and more Lings backing up, backing up. All of the drones from the third base actually survived. So Bexy has the option to transition straight into just mining from her fourth, although as yet she hasn't done. They're just south side the natural. And uh, this army. You know Bexy's what's even great against Hydra Ling? What is it? Oh, God, Archon's where? <laughs> Right between the second and third base. Okay, Archons are great, but they need tanking. They die yeah, they fast, need, even to Lings. Uh, but he's got what two two, two uh, one. So he's gonna get forty three damage per shot. So he one shots Lings and the splash on top of that. The the and damage will be huge, but Lings are good. And uh, the way Archon Splash works means that if the Lings get a surround, only one or two Lings will actually get one shot. This Colossus, however, will help, will go a long way in doing that, because Colossi have no Splash Radius fall off. Uh, either way, Bexy keeping her opponent suppressed really nicely, forcing him down. He's getting towards Mind out of his main base and has been unable to take a third, whereas she's nearly finishing up her re-third base, mining from the fourth, looking to take a really good position in the mid to late game as we transition towards that. Right. We got Zella charge on the way along with three two upgrades. Those could come in handy. Uh, plus three is the most important upgrade for a Protoss. And there are ma there's maths behind that, but I can't remember what it is. So just go for the, the more simple logic that damage is good and Colossi do loads of it. <laughs> yep. Touche. That's, that's, how, that's how I go for it. Uh, this is so Ling Hydra Roach Corruptor. That's our combo here. Yeah. Which one didn't get the upgrades? Okay, the Lings don't have an attack upgrade. 
they're starting now though back at home that uh, that melee upgrade is beginning and that could permit for an ultra list transition in the late game with less uh, less ineffective upgrades is really what I'm trying to say here it's not going to be perfect but ultras are good I'd like to see one more warp in this could be a very risky engagement here uh, the zealots are at the back but they're going to be able to come through Charges with a good done. surround Charge oh, oh okay. charges are done! I just assumed charge was done. Without charge, these roaches are going to buff us so nicely. Shooting through, the hydras are going to rip through everything that they don't get shot by. Unfortunately, everything that they don't get shot by. I love it, sorry. Yeah, well, <sighs> hydras should be beating stalkers. But with yeah, blink, with have. good blinks, and actually because of the uh, because of the engagement taken there, without the kind of natural spread by Bexy's units, if the concave had favoured Bexy a little bit more, I still think she could have won just won the game right there. Instead, she's making roaches. Not sure what I think about that. And a fourth base for her penguins down, just in the alternate spot, and a fifth yeah, base yeah. up for Bexy. On the gold too, she's gonna have great middle yeah. income out of that. She needs to just do a heavy transfer to that base immediately because it's not going to last. Yeah. That Pull them from the main, send them to the gold. Yep. That's what I do. Army supply, look at the differential there. It's pretty monstrous, but you can never underestimate a Protoss army. And the Lings are going for a run by Oh man, if they go over to that fourth right now. And they should. We should see a clean out on the watchtower, uh, Penguin's watchtower. But that probe's just going to hold it, and the Lings. She, uh, he knows where they are. Actually not reacting to them. But she's scouting around from the fourth base in the more conventional location. And it's, gonna, it's not going to be seen. It's not been dealt with. Uh, because that watchtower wasn't cleaned out. Map vision is so critical. As a Zerg, it benefits you Stay a huge amount. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. Here it comes. I think Penguin thinks he's going for an attack. Instead, I think he may be about to be attacked quite significantly. Corruptors aren't doing very much because Penguin has not built those air units that would be shot oh, out by man. them. A lot of Roach Hydra. Yeah. The Lings though, with There's those Lings, Lings coming in, they blink are going to do great against the Immortals. He needs to blink. Oh, he's got a, he had a DT having some fun in there, I think. Uh, no, there's an Overseer in there. It's been cleaned up. And with the death of the Immortals, the Roaches can now do they Thang. Get it up there. Broodlord's morphing. She did yeah. get a great Aspire a few minutes ago, uh, but there wasn't really time to talk about it. That's all right. If, if they looked at the production tab, they got it. <laughs> yeah. We were busy with the fights. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Penguin really needs a fifth. He's getting towards Mind Out in his natural, because he took it nice and early, which is good at the start, but now you need more bases. You need more bases and fast. Whereas Bexy's sitting pretty with a gold base with loads of gas. Her bank in minerals is not huge and she's not yet maxed out, but that's probably because she just invent invested a huge amount into Broodlords. And there are eight of those now with the army. Gonna lay siege, presumably, to the third base. <laughs> yeah, it looks like she's just gonna go. Is that Baneling she's making in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this is gonna be big here in a minute. Uh, fortunately, that actually, that air penguin put that base down. Even though it's 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 gonna die, it's gonna be a warning sign that you need to get over there. <laughs> yeah, cut. no, she's not going for it. It's always a decision-making process about where to engage in this circumstance, and that's one of the reasons why scouting is so important. There's two overseers here, and sending a changeling to the fourth and the third could reveal the army location really well. But unfortunately, at this point, Bessie's flying a little bit blind. Here they come. The Baneings wow. are going in mainly. Oh. Interesting. Well, yeah, uh, there go the, the Archons soaking up a lot of those, but the Zealots have all gone. The Hydras are there. The Brutals are chucking their units down onto the Archons, and Archons are not GG. good. Not good. Against Brutals. That's it. <laughs> Great play. That was awesome. Station. For game number three, one of these two people is going home. One is not. It's going to be our Red Protoss player from Clan Triple T. Air Penguin. And his opponent, as you say, for what could potentially be the final time. In the bottom right, in pink, it's our Zerg player.
sexy. Alright. Well, I really would like to see Air Penguin do a fast scout here and deny the normal natural just to disrupt Bexy's play. If, if I were him. So that far, we true. haven't really seen him doing that that much, though. No. And it's such an easy thing for a toss to do. I do it, like, any time I get a chance. Just to slow them down a bit, throw off their game. It's really annoying. <laughs> I know, right? Can, can confirm. Super irritating. Uh, basically, go for pool first, but that is just safe. It doesn't have to be aggressive unless it's followed up with gas. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see here. I don't think it's going to be followed up with gas, but I, I could be mistaken at this point. Uh, going up to 16 kind of says that it won't be. And we are actually seeing that scout. Air Penguin doing the scout. He's doing the thing that we said he wouldn't do. He's full of surprises. <laughs> Drop a by. Oh, he intercept, 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 intercept. <laughs> he made 60. it. Yeah. Denied. So uh, if... Well, not the strongest of denials, perhaps, but actually what happened there was, I think he disrupted the hatch going down, and Bexy didn't quite notice straight away, so uh, he bought a precious few seconds. It's always yes, nice. It's lava that might not be there at some point later. That's right. Right when you need it. Yeah. But otherwise, he's going very standard here. Air Penguin's build is identical to how he's been. Next structure would be a Nexus if he keeps it in, in line. I feel like it's gonna be. It's just good. Um, the the uh, the probe really needs to go down to the natural and check out whether there are any hatcheries building on it. He could reasonably assume that there aren't, but there could be by this point. It's theoretically possible. As it is, Bexy's been droning up, so it's it's not uh, and indeed queening up. So it's it's not it's not happening, but it could do. And actually, no natural yet. Mothership core. And Another zealot. Pylon, actually. Two zealots, in fact. This is a pressure expand, I think. Uh, you get that second zealot and the mothership cord. You just move across the map and go, oh, were you expecting me at whenever, 6.30, when my gateway was done? Nah. Going to turn up much earlier. Not going to have the lings ready to deal with it. And it's very, very irritating for a zerg to deal with if they don't scout it and don't expect it. But Bexy's seen it with the overlord. So I think yeah. this has some reasonable potential to just get stopped. Now those Ooh, evil, just... evil pesky rocks are uh, yeah. gonna get taken care of. <laughs> I, I I dislike them immensely. Just can't trust them. You never know what they're planning because you think that they're just in, inanimate objects, but then you, you you can't quite tell. Sometimes I've seen them fall on people. That's it's dangerous true. stuff. Yep. Do you remember that map? What was that map called that had the third base that you could like the rocks fell on it and did five hundred damage. Uh, yeah, I had like an in-base natural, and it was Forspawn. I know what you... I, I remember yeah. the map. I don't know what the name is offhand. But yeah, that was rather funny. I like that map. Uh, <laughs> the Stalker that's come out from Air Penguin is going to drive that overlord towards the back of the natural. And those zealots that I called being for pressure have actually stayed at home. I really would have liked them to have been for pressure, because if we look at the base of Bexy... She's going she, for that fast third. Yeah, she's gone for a fast third, and she's only just now building some links. She hasn't really needed any before this point. Yeah, so she'd be able to try her to to burn some larva. Yeah. Very, and very she important. she just did a huge dump into drones. Nine of them. Nine at once. That is exactly what you, the Zerg player wants to be doing, and that's why you have to stop them by turning up at funny timings and confusing them and frustrating them. And if they've just done a big drone dump, they actually can't make links, and then you just kill them. Yep. But right now we got the same kind of wall. This Air Penguin's playing it just like the Starport game. Star I, like game. Cool. I I mean, not because it's particularly good or bad or anything. I just really like this kind of two gateway thing. It's a really nice funnel into the natural. I just think it's quite a quite an attractive looking wall. So, no, nope, other than that, pass. it's got a pylon in it. There's so many zealots, and I don't really know why. If he's not putting on this pressure, then Air Penguin really didn't need to make more than one of these, which is to fill the gap in the wall. Making right. these delays probes and delays tech, which is why the Robo is only just finishing up now. And there's, an or there's only an Oracle and a couple of other units and out on the map. it just crossed through the vision of Bexy. Did it? She, she's on the Zelnarkus. Yep. I mean, 
you have to try and disguise your attack. Well, you you absolutely do, but right at this point in time, the uh, the oracle has actually basically gone unheeded and un undealt with, so there are no spores prepared in the mineral lines of Bexy. That will give the oracle, especially towards the natural, where, no, 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 the queen's moved down uh, from the main, so now the main is the, the target. The oracle could fly towards the main, it's just sitting there. Uh, it killed the queen, which is good, but the, oh, to lose the mothership core to the queens as well is not it's really expensive. what you want to do. <laughs> Bexy's, Bexy's creep is so good as well, I've got to say. It's really, really rare to see a zerg outside of masters with creep this good by this time in the game and just to have it spread out this far I mean she could see attacks coming in from so many different angles and respond so much better that's why these queens have been out chasing down the oracles killing off a mothership core that's a big deal if she were to attack yeah. now there's no real answer to it yeah I absolutely agree with you and like I said this is looking like the build he did in the first game but he lost the first game no 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 he won the first game Lexi Wait a second. Yeah, Bexy won the second game, uh, but this is the build he did in the second game. That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> I got no numbers words. mixed up in my head. I'm like, okay, do math. Simple math. <laughs> <laughs> you can never, never do maths on stream. I don't like this super long rally for the Void Ray. Completely undefended. Where's it going? Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a missed rally. That's where the Oracle was going. She, uh, he hasn't he hasn't reset that yet, but uh, yeah, nice third timing from Air Penguin. It's coming down at a reasonable time to be able to defend it. There probably ought to be a couple of extra void rays, but it doesn't matter too much. There've just been a few kind of critical supply blocks for him, so he's spending his money mm -hmm. in other locations, taking that forge now. Uh, but Bexy is identifying this and taking full advantage. Fourth and fifth base coming down. If this yeah, isn't she punished, gets these. God, this is going to be strong if this is not punished. Yeah, we just need to see a little bit of aggression here out of Air Penguin. Well, I think even if he is aggressive, it should be handleable as soon as the Hydralisks finish. Uh, Hydrodents build incredibly fast. They take 40 seconds to build, and Hydras take 30 seconds to build, I think. So as soon as you see a Hydrodent start going down, it's only 70 seconds until the first Hydra gets on the field. 33 seconds, there we go, same as the Mutalisk. Yep, and the, uh, the, the Spire is going down. So mm. it's going to be options, options for her ass. Yeah. Now, where are we at on Colossus? They're there. So they're on their way. God, I, I tell you what, Mutalisks at this point would be devastating. There's so little army for Air Penguin that when this Spire finishes, there's going to be... Well, it depends what Air Penguin warps in between now and the time the Mutas hit the field. 21 she, roads she's not are going, on the way. She's not going Mutas, I should clarify. Uh, it's Red Hydra. Even so, scary. Oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's see the timing of this. It's going to be 25 more supply in army and about 30 overall more supply. Penguin only just now scouting the 4th, 5th and still doesn't know about the extra one. The lava from these bases is going to be so helpful to Bexy in keeping her opponent suppressed in the mid game. Absolutely. Yeah, she's got 14 available over right now. Yeah. Now we got ten, ten minutes. minutes on the way. She she's gearing up for one big wallop. That's what this I, is. Yeah. Hydra Roach trying to max. Fire or uh, Muta. I think that's exactly what she's going for here. This is a really hard push she's dumping. Now I another Colossus is going to be out, and if this gets picked up, you know there's going to be a, a war a, a big warpin. Well, the question is whether it's too late. I think because Bexy had these units and they are going to hit they could have hit a timing with fewer units that could have potentially just won the game outright but I'm not sure anymore if this engagement goes down and the force fields are looking good losing a couple of roaches there Bexy but oh the force fields goodness. are going to the force yeah, fields yeah. could lock uh, Penguin away from his natural so Bexy needs to be splitting her forces and attacking very smartly in order to pick apart her Protoss opponent yeah Oh man, I feel like she was really expecting to do a hard push there, and this has got her resetting a little bit. Because she's pumping out some more units, but not nearly as many. I mean, that was all her money when she did it. 
Yeah, the Hydras oh, are boy. not really present, and there's now two Colossi, a few Void Rays as well. Uh, the Stalker, Stalker Colossus is good for a reason. You deal with it with Vipers. That's true. We, we need, need to see those Vipers. For that. So you do indeed. No infestation pit yet, so it doesn't look right. like she's going that oh, way yet. Engagement going down outside the natural. Uh, good engagement, actually. The Corruptors picking away at all of the air units, and the Roaches powering through. Uh, Going to be able to push forward, but not focusing down those Colossi could be oh. very detrimental. Is this... Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be like a tie. It's enough. Yeah, uh, the, the trading off armies need to pull back those Corruptors, and the Stalkers... Do they have blink? They don't have blink, so they can't follow this up. Bexy actually, I think, coming off the better in that engagement just because mm -hmm. she picked off all of the Colossi. And if she hits a nice timing before any more are produced. Which two are being chronoed out? Yeah, as, as they should be. They need to be. A lot of stalkers. Yeah. Uh, the Lings will obviously trade fairly effectively against those, but uh, at this point, it's worth noting that these Colossi do not have Thermal Lance. Oh boy. Yeah. Hydra is currently, I believe, at the same range as them. Yes, Hydra's the same range as Colossi is not a recipe for success. All of the Colossi have now been picked off. The Corruptors are drifting above the Stalkers, tauntingly, as the, as the Hydras rip through. Oh! Edwin. And Bexley advances. Nice. We will See <laughs> now in the consolation match. Whew. I have a question. Mm. Have any Protoss gone through yet of any of the rounds of anything? Hang on. Do, 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 do. No, no. Let's check Challenger. No for Premier. Challenger. Yes, Inked Warrior did in Group C. So one Protoss has made it between the two divisions so far. All right. Well, that's going to end the loser's bracket. Congratulations to Bexy and Air Penguin. Great try, sir. Represent. And uh, Triple T Cuss. Yeah. So, all right. So we're going to end up next with Bexy versus something Panda. What was it? Uh, Panda Prime. Panda Prime. So TVZ coming up here next. So we're going to have a short break, and we'll see you in a few.